Greetings, everyone. I'm Ambe Singh, and today I'm with Myers for the episode 23 of Power Pages Quick Tip series. In this episode, we are going to explore how to enable the multiple language in the Power Pages. Enable multiple languages support in the Power Pages allow you to reach a global audience by displaying your website content in the various languages. These features help you to translate your site's content while maintaining a single content hierarchy, ensuring consistency and ease of management. By leveraging these capabilities, business can effectively communicate with the customers worldwide, enhancing user experience and engage across different regions and the languages. Enabling multiple language support in the Power Pages offers several benefits, so you can expand your audience by making your website accessible to non-English speakers, tapping into the new market and the customer bases. You can provide a more personalized and engaging experience for the users by offering the content in their preferred languages. Also, you can stand out for the competitors by demonstrating a commitment to inclusivity and customer satisfaction. Not only this, you can boost your search engine ranking in a different reasons by having content available in the multiple languages. Maintain a unified content structure while delivering localizing content, ensuring brand consistency across different languages. These advantages can help drive growth, improve customer loyalty, and increase overall business success. To enable the multiple language support in the Power Pages, you have to firstly activate the desired languages in the Power Platform Admin Center. Then after, use the Portal Management app to add and configure supported language for your website. Choose the default languages for your site from the enabled languages. And lastly, import metadata translations and update custom labels for the new languages. This still will help you to enable and manage multiple languages support for your Power Pages site that allowing you to reach a broader audience and provide a more inclusive user experience. Now, I would like to request to Myers to show how to enable the multiple languages in the Power Pages, some of the great tips and insight secrets. Over to you, Myers. Thank you, Ambesh. Yeah, so as mentioned, we need to start with the language of Dataverse. So you can only enable a language for Power Pages that you have in Dataverse. And that is done in the Power Platform Environment Settings app. You navigate to System Administration, and there you have the languages. And this has a list of all the languages that are available to Dataverse. And um, I have here, so my default language is not listed, which is English here. And that's the language that Dataverse was set up. Um, but I have enabled German and Italian here. And then I get a, a version here um, of, of these translations. Um, so these two languages are enabled. I have pre-enabled them because otherwise it's like it took me for Italian, I think around about half an hour. So you should plan this for offline or maybe a day before you, you plan your go live with a, a new language uh, to enable this. Then you have the option here on website you see the default language over here and then the supported languages and i will create a new language now and um yeah you see this list right here it not does not have all the languages but it only has the ones that i have installed so italian is missing for the uh, for me and um i will save and close this sorry i've missed a thing Let's open this again because the publishing state was set to draft by default. This shall give you time to import your labels and so on. So uh, I will set this to publish directly. I don't have any labels that I want to update and so on. So now I have this language um, here. And next, uh, I would also point you, so after you've enabled this language, I would say use the option here. I'm at the Power Platform Admin Center um, websites and I selected my site. And then here with the ellipses, you have metadata translations available. And um, also this is a solution import, so it will affect the system. It's an installation. Uh, plan this during off hours. 
um, and then you can update. Also already done here. So, and then um, maybe something you don't see the language uh, selection in my homepage right here. However, you do see it, and I've not refreshed the page yet. Um, you do see it over here at the live site if I preview it. So we have German and English, Deutsch is yeah, German for German. <laughs> um, and uh, that's, that's the language selection I have available. And then there is one more effect that is quite um, important. So a web page, so any page like the home page or any other you have, um, does get a, a localization for the given language. So you can see here the home page already has. I mean, this is all not reloaded after the uh, after the enablement of the language. Um, so we see we have a home DE and then home EN, uh, and they both have, for example, the HTML. And the HTML here of German is a little bit shorter because I have added this last button, who am I in the flow, after I uh, created the new language. So when it copied it over, um, it did not have this. This is a reminder that if you are working with these files, you are working with the, um, so Microsoft calls this page copy, the body of the page, which is inside a template. And if you have things like these buttons, you might not want to have like this on-click functionality and so on defined for every language. And then it's an, probably a good practice to um, use the web templates instead, put your buttons and so on in the, in the template and then just the content that is really, I, I don't know, news, um, description and so on. Into the um, into the page copy, so the thing here, um, and then you can use like these snippets here. We explored that in episode twenty already. You can use content snippets to um, enable multi language for those specific. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't know how to call it actionable items, right? Like buttons and so on, uh, headers, on so that the styling looks, for example, the same even though you have different languages. So let's click preview here again, and we will see if um, Italian is now available. So as expected, now we have Italiano uh, available for our uh, selection. I will select German here just because we will see this button will vanish as soon as we see the German site. And there we go, only three buttons, but some of the buttons are now translated because I have them in content snippets with a German translation. Okay, that's everything for installing a new language. Over to you, Ambesh. Thanks, Mayas, for the wonderful demo. Make sure that the process to enable the languages on the data was complete before continuing to the next step. It may take an hour on more to provision these languages. If you activate the new languages after the website has been provisioned, like as Mayas mentioned, you can import the metadata translations to get the metadata trans related for the newly activated languages, or you will also need to update the language text for any custom labels on the Dataverse tables or the columns to appear in the forms or the list on the portal web pages. The configuration field on the home page of the content page is not inherited to the existing content page. They are used only in the creation of the new content page. You must update the content page configuration individually. You will also need to configure the table permission on the website languages table adx underscore portal language to allow read and append access link to the default authenticated user web rules to allow the users to choose their default languages. That's all for the today. Also stay tuned to this channel by subscribing or pressing the bell icon. Share the videos with your friends and the colleagues who are having the same skill sets 
like you or want to deep dive into the power pages we will be coming up with a more interesting tip knowledge sharing and the lesson learning around the power pages also please be aware and keep your eyes into the description of the video so that you are always up to date with the latest information till that have a nice time and happy learning bye